Hello Google Sheets geeks. In this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the quote quote new social media 2024 editorial calendar. Uh, in the description box underneath this video, you will find a link to this Medium blog. And in the Medium blog, you'll find a link to, to the template. This is what it will look like. It's more or less the same as last year. I just made some tiny edits, which I'm going to show you right now. So scroll to how to get the free social media calendar template, click the link. You'll then arrive at this uh, screen prompting you or asking you to make a copy. Yes, you want to make a copy of the spreadsheet. So you click the blue button. You will then arrive at your very own uh, yeah, social media content calendar for the new year. Then of course you're free to rename it to however you please. There, um, yeah, there only is a monthly version of the content calendar because I want to stop manually updating this spreadsheet every year. It's tedious and I'm not going to do it anymore. So I figured out a way for you to do it yourselves with just a couple of clicks. I'll show you how it works. So this, this base template, to, wow, talking. <laughs> we have our base template here. You don't want to make any edits to this, just leave it here. But for every new month that you want to start planning out your content for, uh, so let's say we're planning out the new quarter of the next year. So January, February, March, you want to right click on the tab, click duplicate, rename the tab and do that again. And once more, there, we just leave this here. Okay, the way I set this template up, again, one uh, one tab for, for every month. I made sure that there's enough room for all the possible date combinations, because uh, sometimes the first of the month falls on a Tuesday or a Thursday and then, or on a Saturday or Sunday or whatever, and this can get up to, this can fill out six weeks. So there's enough of space even for the longest months. There are six rows, uh, six mini calendars for all the possible calendar weeks in a month. Now, if you want to set this, this tab up for January, we only have to edit the information in three buttons, uh, three, in three areas on the spreadsheet. Firstly, in this greenish box, we fill out the year, which is 2024. We don't need to touch this. We don't need to touch D3 because as you can see, this is taken from this value right here. It is, this is on purpose because anything that falls in the second week of the month will definitely be referring to the month that we're actually tracking. Whereas if I had taken this one, it could have belonged to the previous month, if that makes sense. So we don't change this. We only change the year. We select from this drop down whether we want our week to start on a Monday or a Sunday. Mine starts on Monday or I'm used to planning out my weeks from starting on Monday. And you will see that when you select a different value from this drop down, that the headers in the mini calendars and in all the, the weeks in column K will adjust accordingly. Yup. So both users who prefer their weekdays, the weeks to start on Monday or Sunday can use this template. I'm going to leave it on Monday for now. Thirdly, we want to adjust the value in this pink box, the calendar week. CW stands for calendar week. And since we want to track January, we need to take the first calendar week of this month, which is number one. And everything else, all these dates here in the mini calendars and in column L will adjust accordingly. That's it. We're going to do the same for February, just to show you how that looks like 2024. I want my weeks to start on Monday. And we're going to take calendar week five. That's the first week of the month. Boom. 
as you can see, this coincides with the correct date. And that's it, these three buttons, that's all you need to adjust. Moving on to March, again, this is the first thing we adjust, the year, changing this to Monday. And the first calendar week in the month of March is calendar week nine. So we fill that out here and everything else will update according to this setting here. Yeah. And anything at the bottom, which you no longer need, such as this, for example, because this is already in, what is it? April. Then we can just select the, the rows we don't need and hide them or delete them. It's up to you. Now, I suggest not to mess with rows. I prefer you not to because I did not build that into the spreadsheet. And I don't have a workaround currently, so I'd much rather have you hide or add in rows because that all doesn't matter what you do right here. But ideally, yeah, feel free to mess with the rows, but then you're on your own. Just saying. All the rest is the same. You can change this image with a different one if you want one or just take it out altogether if you don't care. Change these headers to whatever it is that or wherever it is that you're posting on the internet. And the status drop downs, you can. OK, I put some dummy data in here, but if you click on the drop down and then the edit button, you can delete these values or change them to whatever you want. You can adjust the colors or add a new item. This is all up to you. When you click done, you'll be prompted to apply this change to every single, uh, every single drop down in the, in the range. You want to do that. Now, if you deleted a, an item, then this, you'll see a little triangle on the edge of the, of the field. Don't worry. You can just get rid of it, delete it and update it with whatever you changed it with and you are good to go. Yeah, in this case, since all these drop downs are the same, the spreadsheet updated or added the work in progress in purple to every single drop down in the spreadsheet. I think that is it. Yeah, if you want to make adjustments to this spreadsheet, feel free to. Uh, yeah, if you're on medium, you can write for the publication. Just make a base template of your own with whatever modifications you want to add to the template and send me a draft blog to to the publication. And then you can get your work shown to nearly to pay readers. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful, this walkthrough. And in case there are any questions, drop a comment. Bye.